Hi, my name is Josie. This is my spooky showsie. there. I'm sorry guys. I'm just trying to run from my feelings because Penny Dreadful ruined my life. Hello darkness my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because hey everyone and welcome to the latest Spooky Saturday where I'm going to talk about Penny Dreadful and Vanessa Ives. Um, if you haven't watched the finale, uh, I would not watch this video. Um, it's gonna be very spoilerific. That's a word. Um, full of spoilers. Uh, so do not continue. You have been warned. I don't want aggressive comments stating that I spoiled you. You've been warned. Again. Shh. Go away. Okay. Anyway. Um, so Penny Dreadful ended this past weekend which is a bit of a shock um I mean I guess in the end looking back that you know the lack of promotion and just the way things were worded in certain ways very awkwardly I guess I kind of saw it coming and you know I didn't really see a push for you know season four that shows are generally aggressively pushing for when they want another season and they're kind of on the line um, I've heard it said that John wanted three seasons. Okay, there's all sorts of different stories. Um, do I have issues with the ending? Yeah, because it felt so rushed. And it just, there was so much more to explore. And I'm just kind of sad that they would just kind of say the end to it all. When even with Vanessa, quote unquote, out of the picture, there's still so much you can do with these characters in this story. Um, you know, obviously Ava's so, excuse my French, fucking important to the show. And so just, there aren't proper words to describe Ava, Ava Green and what she puts into a performance. Like she puts every fiber of her being, every ounce of her soul and fully becomes a character in a way that you don't see people do anymore. You know, acting has been something that's been a passion of people since the dawn of time. You know, it's something that Shakespeare's entire life was built upon. You know, the ancient Greeks. And Ava, like, captures all of that ancient wisdom of acting in every performance she gives, but there's just something so incredible about Vanessa Ives. And it's one of her best performances, and she plays this role as if this woman isn't just a character, but it's one of her past lives. It's a part of who she was. It's an ancestor on her family tree. And that's the type of actress that Ava is. She fully immerses herself into that character and becomes that character. And she doesn't have to do anything crazy or weird. Oh, excuse me, my nose ring is deciding to peek out. Um, she doesn't do anything, you know, really weird I would say to become that character like you hear about people like James Franco or others doing you know odd things to become their characters but Ava doesn't do that she just like I said it's part of her soul or her being when she becomes these characters and so it is heartbreaking that Vanessa Ives died but in a way I compared it to Simon in Lord of the Flies which is one of my favorite books and if you haven't read it weird because I'm pretty sure everyone had to read it at some point in sixth grade at least in American schools um, so you're pardoned if you're from foreign schools because it might be different there um, but Lord of the Flies she's almost like Simon to me if you're familiar with the book and Simon was like the, the Christ the the symbolic Christ figure in a way um, who was like the sacrificial lamb it's like heartbreaking that this character died but at the same time it, it like had to happen as a, a course of action as like a I, for Vanessa it had to happen you know like okay can we destroy Dracula but then Vanessa's still basically the queen of darkness like even without Dracula she's still basically succumbed to her fate and I feel like she did it 
in a way because she knew she had to in order to destroy the darkness, to destroy people like Dracula and the creatures of the night. And when Ethan took her life, it was like the light came back into the world and she took upon all that darkness like an antichrist of sorts. She pulled all of our sin and horrors and, and the terrors that exist in the back of our minds into her being and took it all for us. And it's like, that's how I see it. And that's, you know, how I hope John envisioned it um, and everyone envisioned it for her, that she was the sacrificial lamb of sorts for all of us in this fictional existence of Penny Dreadful. And, you know, I cried. I did cry because Vanessa means so much to me. And I don't know, I say that about a lot of things. But Vanessa really struck a chord with me. You know, my mom's the one who got me to start watching Penny Dreadful. And it was because she said Vanessa reminded her of me. Which at first, it was in the first season, so I was really kind of offended by that. Because I was like, since when do I go to, uh, you know, like, seances and do crazy shit? Um, I mean, I have been to seances, but that's a whole other story for a whole other spooky Saturday. But, you know, but she said I reminded her of Vanessa. And so that struck with me and then the more I watch the show the more I got it especially in episodes like Little Scorpion and you know you know even back when she meets the cut wife like there's little bits of her that I see that really I got what my mom was saying and so this character really resonated with me she meant so much to me and then to see her you know kind of succumb to the darkness almost in a way was motivating for me like but also heartbreaking like in a way I don't have to be a sacrificial lamb but I also have to embrace my darkness at times I have to fully embrace it and take it on and sometimes that means I've got to lose things in my life and Vanessa lost her life in order to save all the people that she did love and all I wanted for Vanessa was to be in Ethan's arms and maybe it wasn't in that way but she got to end it with love with a kiss and so in a way she did die in happiness she did die exactly how she wanted to in his arms so as heartbreaking as it all is i guess with the pain of it all it starts to make sense because losing vanessa it's like people are like oh it's a fictional character get over it but like i said she resonated so deeply with me and so many of the people that i love like vanessa is just such an incredible character such an incredible performance and she's going to be so missed and i just i mean i know she's going to be existing on in the prequel comics which i love the comics they're beautiful and beautiful art but it's not the same it's not ava and it's not that same feeling as wonderful as the penny dreadful comics are it's it's not the same and and i'm gonna miss it and i'm going to miss all the dreadfuls and the and the friends that i've made and the the connections that i've deepened and, and furthered because of this show so you know thank you to the cast and the crew for penny dreadful and i hope that it does continue on in some way be it films be it you know more books or comic books but I, i'd love to see ava back in some way maybe it's a ghost or you know like a, a a jedi of sorts see this plane that's flying over it's probably full of angry ava fans that are just heartbroken because penny dreadful but like, you know, maybe she'll come back to some capacities, like some kind of like Jedi um, spirit looking over Ethan or Sir Malcolm or something, you know? And, you know, I'd love to see them explore the world of Kat because she was awesome. And, you know, I'm not just saying that because she's gorgeous, but I love the, the fierceness of her and the knowledge and the, she's almost like a Rey figure, like Rey from The Force Awakens. And I really was feeling her and the bond that she was starting to have with Vanessa so that was a little heartbreaking so I just hope this isn't really truly the end for Penny Dreadful because it is such an incredible experience not just a show uh the fandom you know the comics the merch every little piece of it every person who puts a, a bit of heart into Penny Dreadful is wonderful and I'm, I'm really gonna miss that and you know most of all I will miss Vanessa Ives but I did get this tattooed on me the uh pagan blood glyph of hers this little scorpion the outline of it so that i i'll have her with me forever 
because this is a character that, again, I just said this like 50 times already, resonated with me, that hit me so deeply that I carry it within me. And, you know, as dark as she is, I learned so much from this character. And, you know, it felt like a little piece of me went with her. So, wherever you may be, Vanessa Ives, I know you said, as Ethan said, we walk alone, or so we walk alone. But I hope you do not walk alone, Vanessa. You have all of us with us. And, and Ava, same. You have so many fans that love and admire you and greatly appreciate this performance. You will never walk alone, Ava Green, because so many people deeply respect what you put into your craft. Thank you. In the eye.